Hey everybody, what's up? I just want to give a brief shout out to this indie film to which a peer of my girlfriend introduced. It's called A Simple Date, a short romantic comedy film that has something pretty big going for it and here's why. It tells the story of Rachel, played by Rebecca Faith Quinn. She's an autistic woman who goes on her first date with this guy Josh, played by James Singleton. They get to know each other through their passions and interests, and they eventually get to discussion of Rachel's disability. Josh gets used to dating an autistic woman and Rachel, in turn, becomes more comfortable in her own skin. When the credits rolled, I found that I said to myself, gee, I wonder what happens next for these two. I then realized that director Tamiya Young and Quinn, the latter of whom serving as the film's screenwriter, have made something truly special. Though this premise may sound like a bare-bones setup, Quinn, from both on and off screen, delivers a thoughtful outing that paves way towards some welcome spins on the meet cute trope. All of this is because of its sensitive depiction of its subject. Autism. This portrayal as something ordinary feels so refreshing. As a cinephile who's autistic, as well as queer, I do appreciate films that celebrate diversity and elicit sympathy for people with these labels. I, however, also feel that it's equally important that I can watch a film like A Simple Date, one of such refreshing normalcy that these characters feel like I can meet on the street, as opposed to a token character with whom I'm supposed to form a connection because they're so gosh darn special. The performances in this film are quite understated. Both Quinn and Singleton do a fine job of bringing to life Rachel's awkwardness, charm, and intelligence, as well as Josh's compassion and open-mindedness, respectively. Their natural performances feel well-suited for a script that calls for these actors to treat this meet-cute as a very in-the-moment scenario. Because of that, the pacing of a simple date for the better feels very theatrical in that because the editing and camera work feel so succinct that these actors really do carry the weight of this film. They bring a thoughtful and patient pacing that makes this blooming relationship feels so genuine. Before the film began, there was a disclaimer that mentioned the scene where Rachel has a breakdown from overstimulation, and it was cut out to tone down this sequence. At first I wasn't sure how it would play out, but without giving too much away, I thought it still worked. It's very easy to make torture porn over a character's suffering just to elicit sympathy, but making it one about compassion and vulnerability feels like a satisfying bookend to a simple date. A story about a budding relationship that'll have its obstacles, but the goodness of these people could ultimately make make it work. As far as flaws are concerned, I'd say they're pretty minimal. At some points, a simple date emotionally holds your hand a bit too much to the point where it can encroach upon the film's normalcy. Sometimes there's a music cue that telegraphs its emotional tone, and it does feel on the nose. And while it also ends on a sweet note, I felt like that leaving it up in the air whether they get together or not could have really driven home Rachel's end to her arc much stronger. Rachel succeeded far more than getting through her first date. She realizes that she's totally deserving of the love and support from another person. With all that aside, I was very impressed with how this film turned out. I loved the degree of normalcy for which the film strived, making for a neurodivergent representation that largely speaks for itself. Check out A Simple Date if you're interested. I put the link in the video description for you to check it out. This was such an engaging debut for Young and especially Quinn, and I eagerly await for what they do next. Thanks for watching.